Did you do high school theater also? No. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. You know what? Uh, there's. This is gonna sound weird as a professional actor talking about high school theater, but sometimes in high school theater or in any theater that you're not getting paid like a job, it can be like mind numbing. You know, you feel like you're spinning your wheels. But there's a cool book called Outliers where it talks about kind of yeah, Woo! it talks about like the ten thousand hour rule. Like you kind of master something if you're doing it for ten thousand hours. So tell your high school theater students to get the ten thousand hours of acting out during high school, so that when they get out, they're already uh, they're mastering it already. So that'll be my advice. Yeah. And embrace the stuff. Um. Gosh. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I have much advice for high school. I have one more then. Okay. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> I would say embrace the nuance. A lot of theater is about, you know, if you're doing a play like this and there was no microphone, then I have to act the theme, like everything is done. So, and that's, it's fun, but when you, if they want to be in film or TV, then it's too big. So find, find the moments in a scene where the only person who knows exactly what you mean is the person you're acting with, you know? Like there should be conversations happening between your young actor's eyes that you can't see. 50 yards back. You can't see from five yards back. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'll say for Jensen. Yeah, that sounds good. Good answer.